Covering Duval County and the continuing police crackdown on strip clubs, these eight women have been arrested in a Southside club shut down. A JSO undercover vice raid and fire inspection this weekend closed the doors at Emperor's on University Boulevard West. The benefit of raiding places like this is because it gives them a chance to keep the, the community clean. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson is talking about the Emperor's bus, but also the law enforcement over the past few months at other venues like this. Other raids have led to arrests and closing the doors at SOS Gentlemen's Club on US 17, Gate Gentlemen's Club, Centerfold Lounge, and Mascara's Gentlemen's Club even last week. This time, eight dancers face various charges, including exposure of body parts and simulating a sex act. The women arrested are between 21 and 30 years old. And Jefferson says it's not only about performers. A lot of the personnel that's inside that's working there are addicted to drugs and they trade uh, certain sex acts for drugs, uh, all sorts of things goes on in these type of places. It's, it's really uh, an eyesore uh, in our society, in our communities. Jefferson says JSO routinely works cases like this with undercover officers inside to observe. In this case, Jacksonville police called the fire marshal with the ensuing inspection leading to the closure. The business increased its occupancy to more than 300 but didn't comply with fire code. The violations that they're cited for are strict city laws, so when they see those violations, that gives them probable cause to go in and, and, and raid the place and shut them, shut them down. Beyond the charges associated with the dancers, Jefferson says investigators will often find connections to drug use and sales. One of the dancers arrested is now charged with prostitution. Allegedly, she began a sexual conversation with one of the undercover officers.